What's going on, YouTube? Today is uh, Tuesday, June 11th. I am still alive. I'm still here. Uh, I greatly apologize that I have not made a video in probably four or five, possibly six weeks. Uh, that was something that I said I would never do, and I actually did. I just got super busy doing tons of other stuff. Uh, I've been trying to get a crap load of stuff out for the Fantasy League. I'm trying to score some points for uh, Team Schaefer, which we're catching up to our Nary's team there. But, um, I, I, again, I apologize. It's been way too long. I have so much stuff that I could show you guys. I've been getting tons of stuff in, but it's just, I haven't even recorded half the stuff onto my spreadsheet. I got about 80 things on my floor over here that I got to put in my spreadsheets. I got to get organized. I just have so much crap that I'm trying to get out all at once, and I'm just doing a little here, a little here, a little there, a little there, and it's driving me freaking crazy because I'm not getting accomplished, anything accomplished. Um, I did make a couple of appearances since my last video on Autograph Weekly, which is a great show. Um, I'm still making, uh, getting adjusted to it. It's kind of nerve-wracking being on there because I'm not the greatest guy <laughs> to be talking on camera, but I, I try. But uh, we recorded last Sunday, nice late night again. Uh, we did List of Palooza, which we did our top ten, top three, top two things uh, that we like about the community, things we need to improve, best shows, best movies, you know, personal opinion, uh, kind of poll stuff, which was great. I mean, it was kind of fun to hear everyone else's opinion on that one, so I was, I was glad to be on that one. So, all right, so let me get into my stuff here. Um, I'm just going to show a bunch of stuff I just kind of grabbed off the floor. Again, I'm so freaking disorganized. But uh, let's get started. A lot of this stuff took between 7, 14, 15 days, pretty fast responses, which I like because it scored points right off the bat for the team. All right, I sent out a whole bunch of these Leaf Draft Pick cards. I got about 80 to 100 of them out, or 80, and I got another 20 sitting next to me I got to get out. So this one came in pretty fast. This is Mike Gleaton, quarterback, personalized. Uh, the players are doing their OTAs right now, so hopefully a lot of the rookies grab their cards and start signing them. This one is Giovanni Bernard, running back. Again, I think it's going to be the policy of a lot of the rookies is to personalize. Because I got three in so far, two of them came in personalized. Put that back with this one. Uh, a couple of baseball successes. Tom Prince signed one. And sign two. Next, this was a fast one. I remember this one. This took about five days. This is my 81 flare card for Jim Rooker. I'm going to try and rifle through these pretty fast. This is Kobe Hamilton, another drop pick, uh, wide receiver for the Bengals. I love these cards because there's no gloss on them. They sign right off the bat. And nothing's come in really smudged yet. And it's actually pretty nice. Look at this. He actually somewhat spelled out his whole name there. Which is kind of rare. It's usually a, a scribble or initials. Or... Alright. This one is coming in from my cousin's hometown, Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Bruce Kim. So, again, I gotta go record all this stuff. See, I got all these envelopes that I have yet to do. This one, I remember it took about two weeks. This is a NASCAR success. Uh, Dave Blaney. NASCAR Sprint Series. Give me a sign picture. Just throw that in my pile. I got a DVD success from Scooby Doo. This one took a little bit long. It took about a month, but Casey Kasem. Diamond and Silver. The voice of Shaggy. Uh, this is a ping pong success. So, so far I sent out three ping pongs. I got all three back. Sent me a signed card. Ariel Singh. Send me that one. She sent me a nice index card signed. And here it is. The ping pong ball. Thing. And this one actually came in great. No dents, no dings. These the uh, ping pong balls are real flimsy, so when they get processed, they get whacked around, and we got one dented back already. Whew. Next, another DVD. Let me see if this 
This one took a long time. I lied about the date. This one took probably about eight months. Which I sent to this guy thinking he was going to be like a two week. And he wrote me a back note saying, Sorry, it took me so long to get this back to you, Andy. Hope you're well. I've been waiting for this because I want to get this back out. It is a Ferris Bueller's Day Off. And it's signed by Jeffrey Jones, the principal. Yeah, Rooney. Yeah. So that's going to head off to Ellen Ruck. Next is a pitcher success. Requested a pitcher from Mr. William Daniels. From uh, Boy Meets World. I believe. Yeah. And also the voice of Kit from Knight Rider. i got to find a nice Knight Rider pitcher and get that out for him. Ah, there's a great DVD success. This one actually took 30 days. It is from the fighter. And it is a dual signs by Mark Wahlberg and Mickey Ward, the actual fighter that the movie is based on. So I got the actor and I got the real life guy. And this is Irish, Mickey Ward, the fighter. I meant to show this on Autograph Weekly, but it was lost in my pile over here. <laughs> Uh, let's see, another DVD, uh, yep, this one took about six months too, I believe I sent it off to the play, and it's signed by Mr. Paul Rudd, signed by Role Models DVD, you know what, I didn't look on the inside, oh, bonus, first time I opened the inside, he signed the disc too, woohoo, Andy, thanks, Paul Rudd. You know what? This is why I like sending out the whole case. Instead of just the, the DVD sleeve on the outside, because many times when you send out the whole disc, oh, I gotta check that Mickey Wood one. Uh, you send out the whole case, they sign both the outside and the inside disc. Doesn't happen all the time, but it happens more times than I can count. Let me check the Fierce Buell one. No, see, that one didn't sign the inside. And let's see if Irish Mickey Ward. No, okay. So I'm making myself a liar right now. But a lot of times they do, I swear. And now I got a baseball success. This was a little project that I was trying to do. Kind of got away from it, but I got to get back on it. But it's bonus because I sent to the AAGPBL ladies who, um, uh, technically in the Hall of Fame. So whenever I get one back, I am getting a Hall of Famer. Technicality, but still, it is a baseball Hall of Famer. She signed my baseball. So these are cheap balls. You know, Major League ball. Let's see if it comes in. It's a rolling ball. And it's just the official OBL. Just three balls. Buy these at Walmart. You can buy, I think, a dozen or eight. I think it's eight. Eight for fourteen bucks. They come in a big tub. So I've been getting those out. I actually got one of the ladies refused me the other day, so I'm gonna get that back out to uh, Mike Cameron and try and get him to get the uh, full his full home run game inscription on it. Again, it's all my freaking pile. Of sh I don't want to say shit, but crap, I gotta get out. I, mean, I am so freaking behind. Literally, I got letters. Envelopes done, but no letters. I got letters done, no envelopes. And I got letters and envelopes and cards all right. I just have to save some, record them, and send them. And I haven't done it yet. But by uh, Thursday, I should have a good 200 out that I should accomplish. Because the Bruins is on tomorrow night against Chicago, which the Bruins are going to win. And I'm just going to sit my butt down with a few beers and stuff envelopes and watch the game. So, hope everyone is well. I'm still here. I will be back. I promise. I will be starting to make my weekly videos again on Monday nights, like I always did. Uh, check out Aragarf Weekly. Uh, Spawn and Stacy are going to be doing a live envelope opening. I believe it's tomorrow. Sorry, I can't make that ruin the run. Uh, I'm going to go watch the butt with it. But, um... Double check on Autograph Weekly or uh, Stacy's page. I think she promotes it on there. But I uh, hope everyone's well. Hope everyone's mailboxes are full except uh, <coughs> Hunter because he's kicking our butt in the Fantasy League. So I want him to slow down a little bit. And I'm currently in fourth place. 
hopefully to be in third place pretty soon. But uh, hopefully the room is all. Hope your mailboxes are full. Be careful going out to them. Hope you don't trip and fall. Everyone have a good day.